So go ahead and just talk to us a little bit about your reaction to today, what you're seeing and feeling and all that good stuff. Yeah, I, you know, I never expected to see um, the Capitol uh, surrounded by, by protesters, but I think the uh, we're at, we're at a, um, a hot point in this country where you have a huge major or a huge number of people that feel like the election um, was was stolen, was manipulated, uh, including me. Uh, I believe that the election was manipulated somehow. There's having been around elections for almost 20 years. Um, there's there's just something not right. Uh, you look at different congressional districts around the country and the fact that uh, congressmen are winning with their typical large majorities, and then uh, President Trump is losing. You know, the fact is, is that there needs to be uh, an investigation, and uh, in both parties need to be willing to do that to give confidence to the American people that the elections are, are honest and the integrity of our democracy is established and protected. Makes sense. Um, and then just talk a little bit about the security. Um, I know we talked about that earlier, about the seats and how um, they try to make you guys safe when you're in there. Yeah, and, and you know, um, I would often take guests with me uh, into the Capitol. There is security. Uh, it sounds like, uh, you know, there are uh, people inside the Capitol that uh, are beyond that those security checkpoints. Congressmen um, do have... Uh, gas mask inside the chamber. Um, there's also, you can use the seats as a, as a flak protector uh, to protect yourselves uh, in case of any shots being fired. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know what's, obviously we hope no one is hurt, but um, I think that we're seeing the frustration with um, the American people that uh, they don't trust our government and they don't trust the electoral process right now. And uh, we better, our leaders in both parties better understand that, that we better get a hold of this quickly so that way no one is injured or even worse killed. Any advice or anything you'd want the American people to know right now or any, I, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words, so I don't know if there's any kind of advice you would have for voters who may. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, I think it's important. Our, our democracy starts with our electoral process. And there are abnormalities that are in this election. Um, there are numbers that just don't add up. So many presidential candidates would have loved to have the size of rallies and the uh, energy that President Trump's campaign did. And there's, there's just those pieces. There may be anecdotal, but there's more to it than, the, than that. And uh, with the inconsistencies, I think both parties, if they want to protect our democratic process, both parties, Republican and Democrat, if they want to protect the democratic process, we have got to come together on both parties and look into the electoral process and make sure, you know what, the outcome may not change. But because the confidence is so shaken, including with me, um, I, I just believe that the parties have to find a way to come together and be sure that our election process is uh, safe and secure for us as Americans. Sounds good. Is there anything else before I let you go? No, I think that's it. I just open every my son's out there, so I I hope he's safe and we're we're keeping an eye on him and making sure everything's okay.